Welcome everybody to the theme park wizard and we have some great cool stuff today. We got the Velocicoaster Q preview, not the POV on ride, but we have a Q preview and we're going to go react to this right now. I'll link the full video below with the sound and everything. This is from Attractions Magazine. Again, I'll link the full video in the description below if you want to hear the sound and I think this is a pre-show if you want to hear Dr. Wu saying go watch this but right now i'm just gonna do a reaction to the set design see what this queue looks like again there's no pov of the velasco so yet it was team member preview day maybe a pov will come out this weekend with a with the pass order preview starting may 2nd if so expect me to break that down except it'll be at disneyland that day so send me to break that down on well on the night time sunday night if that does happen um, let's see the queue. This is the brand. This is the engines. We all know what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Let's go ahead. So we're walking in here. And if we stop, look at, so there's a lot of queue space in here. And there's, um, one thing, uh, Universal, I wish they'd do, is theme their railings. Like, I know they, they theme the railings in the Wizarding World, and Disney always themes the railings, but in aspects like this, they should, that'd be cool if they, like, themed their railings interior and exterior railings like some jurassic theme right here um although this is kind of a modern interior so maybe maybe that's why i didn't theme the railings now that i think about it but i mean these are just the same generic railings these like transformers and stuff so i don't know i feel like they should make put a modern theme on the railing just theme the railing it's really complete the experience but you can let me know what you guys think in the comments below about that one if you don't care or if you do care so continuing also look at that beautiful raptor statue right over here it's just fantastic it got leaked in that tiktok video that i posted i reacted to a few weeks ago but this is just gorgeous look at that all the raptors and i love the jurassic oh and there's the coaster i didn't realize the coaster was right here that's cool but um i didn't realize um again I love the Jurassic franchises, but I don't know the Raptors' names. I know Echo is one of them, obviously Blue. But besides Echo, there's Bell. Bed? I don't know. I if you know the Velocicoaster name or the Raptor names, comment them below. Let's say this is a little bit of a pre-show or this kind of informational statistics. That like almost like what you get with Jurassic World and Hollywood with the the TVs in the queue. There's that our favorite uh, little tour guide. Moving to the next room. Looks like we got this is a cool looking room, but still, then not theming the railings. But this part is uh, I like the lighting patch. Oh, that's really cool. Let's actually rewind that. Um, thanks to Alicia Stella. Uh, there's. Uh, there's a rumored spots where you can see the coaster launch in the cube. Let's look at this. Hold on. So that's a theme. It ties into the launch sequence of the uh, the second launch because the oh oh that's really cool. That is really really cool. They have the wrappers chasing the coaster. Obviously, that's, those are digital wrappers. But what I was gonna say is it themes the the light the lighting package on it's not just red on the inside but it's red on the outside as well um at night you can see it flashes red during the launch so here's a little pre-show or maybe just another screen while you're waiting dr henry Wu is featured on the east coast and the west coast now i'm sorry west coast and the east coast now so i'm probably telling you to be careful he has millions of years experience um safeties are concerned i wonder if they used um the same uh it's the same recording from the jurassic world here in uh hollywood as it says something similar um but either way i love henry Wu. comment below also what is your favorite jurassic park or jurassic movie you can choose from jurassic park one two and three and jurassic world one and two my favorite i don't know i like jurassic park the original and i love oh there's dr ian malcolm like those easter eggs but I love the original Jurassic Park, and I love the Jurassic World as well. So I don't know. I feel like they're tied because um, this is really cool. It's a nice modern take. Jurassic World is just modern Jurassic Park, and it's almost like a really cool, I don't know the exact same movie, but it's really cool. 
there's some cool Easter eggs back in that uh, cage. You definitely have to take a take a moment to pause and really look at those. Now, this is really cool. This is what I've been seeing online today. That next room with the which is straight out of the movie, which right here, the raptors and their muzzles getting ready to go. Um, again, straight out of Jurassic World. Looks fantastic. And look at those animatronics. It's great. Super realistic. It's about as realistic, of course, as the new Indominus Rex over in Hollywood. And it looks like, what is this demonstration? I thought they were demonstrating the lockers, but it looks like they're saying, hold on to your park ticket. Let's see here. And then just, uh, they're preparing for the ultimate raptor encounter, which is great because they, the Universal Orlando, they moved the raptor encounter right ac across from this attraction. So it works perfectly. Now, look at that. See, this I'm talking about. I mean, these are themed walls. And instead of a hold on, so let's take a pause. So these are themed walls, so they can just theme the railings. So this is one new thing about Universal Orlando or Universal Attractions in general. Their lockers are inside the queue. So unlike all the other attractions like Mummy and Harry Potter or Forbidden Journey, where you have to put yourself in the locker, then wait in the queue. You can, these are, you're waiting in the queue. Then as you see right by, before you get on the ride, you have your chance to put stuff in the locker and then exit, do last minute exit of the attraction, which is very interesting. In the lockers, they are double, double wide lockers. Pretty decent size, looks like. And then we're going to the, the, the Discovery Center. I see. So this is one of these areas probably we can quickly exit it, like a last minute chicken exit, as they call it. Then you're looking and you're walking. And then it looks like you're about to load onto the ride. Or maybe that last part, because it ended, maybe that last part was the end of the ride? I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think about that one in the comments below. I don't know if it was the end of the ride, that last part, or the beginning. Because I know you have a chance to put yourself in the lockers before, like, past the queue. Before you get on the ride. But uh, either way, I think it looks absolutely stunning. It looks gorgeous. Um, I cannot wait. Um to see the full POV of that attraction, I'll be breaking that down. But let me know what do you guys, what do you guys think um, about about the queue in the comments below, comments below. And if you're a Universal Orlando team member, did you and they got to ride the attraction today, or planning to ride it in the next couple of days? What do you guys are you excited? And if you wrote it, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know. Let us let all of us know your experience because it looks just like a fantastic coaster. I've seen nothing but great stuff. Great reviews coming from it. Universal has yet another hit on both coasts. They have just packed packed kits here in Hollywood Seek Love for Pets, 10, 10 out of 10. Jurassic World, the ride, 10 out of 10 with enhancements. Hagrid's over there, 10 out of 10. And Velasco, so it looks like it's another 10 out of 10. So great job, Universal, with your new and improved rides. They look absolutely fantastic. Let me know what you guys see in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.